Okay, I think this one is number 40 or 41 on module 3 or more. All right, let's see. A recent survey found that 70% of all adults over 50 wear glasses for driving. Okay, in the random sample of 10 adults over 50, what is the probability that at least six wear glasses? This is very similar to that first one that we just went over. Um, but we have to identify what our N is, what our P is, and what we are trying to find, right? So I'll make links for these real quick. Okay. All right, first of all, how many um, adults over 50 are we looking at? Um, in a random sample of 10 adults. So n is 10. Because we're going to ask or we're going to pick 10 adults over 50 and ask them, do you wear glasses when you drive? And their answer will be either yes or no. Um, so if we don't have this recent survey result, I would say there's like a 50-50 chance that they either wear glasses or they don't wear glasses. But the survey says like more than half of them wear glasses um, when they're driving. You know, when we're looking at the population of 50 years or older. Um, so the probability is not 0.50, but actually it's 0.70 because that probability was kind of given to us from that recent survey. Now, what do they want? They want what is the probability that at least six wear glasses, okay? At least six, that is, um, probability that the number of people who wear glasses comes out to be six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. So x is greater than or equal to um, six. So if I were to do this on Stack Crunch, it's gonna be so easy, guys. Look, I'm just gonna open up Stack Crunch's binomial calculator. Oh, hold on. I'll show you how to open it. So do Stat calculator binomial and then type in n is 10 p is 0.70 and we want the probability that uh, the number of people who wear glasses is greater than or equal to 6 so the answer should be 0.8497 the answer is rounded up to 85 percent so that's how i would do it if you are doing this on your homework or your quiz, because you are allowed to use Stack Crunch, but if you were to do this on your final exam, you're going to need to know how to use the binomial CDF. And remember, the binomial CDF find the area to or the probability to the left of this, not to the right of it, right? So if you look, what we want is these red, those are to the right of six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But if I type in six, I mean, what they're going to do is they're going to find the area to the left of it. So we have to use the complement. If you are going with um, TI eighty-four, so what's the opposite of greater than or equal to six? That is less than six, right? But there's no way. 5.5 .5 people wear glasses or 5.7 people wear glasses. We're looking at number of people who wear glasses. So it has to be an integer value, it has to be a counting number. So what is the first number that is smaller than six? Okay, that's five, right? So we're gonna have to end up finding probability of people um, less than or equal to five people wearing glasses and what we're just going to do is subtract that probability from one okay so let's try that see i wouldn't do this unless you absolutely need to use ti84 but you know when you get used to setting it up you'll be all right so okay i'm gonna go ahead and open up um second vars second vars and you want binomial cdf Okay, that one right there and you will type in everything in here so hold on. the number of trial is what 10 the p-value not the p-value the probability is 0.70 
and the x value that we're going to find is 5. Okay, and I paste it. So that's um, the pro that is the probability that less than six people will, will wear glasses. Less than six people. But the answer we want to find is probability that more than or equal to six people wearing glasses. So what do we have to do? We just have to do one minus that number. Okay, and if you do that, you will get 0.849. And that matches what we got. Uh, we got from using stack crunch, right? So two different technology. I think stack crunch is easier, but when you guys are taking your final exam um, on lockdown browser, you're only allowed to use handheld calculators. So definitely from now on, before your final, practice using binomial CDF or normal CDF on your TI-84, okay? But that is the answer. That's how you find the answer to this binomial problem.